So guys, I wanted to tell you about this dreadful case that I heard about in Rankin County, uh, Mississippi. So there's a case that's going on right now where these cops, it was six of them, they bust into a house, they tied two men up and they tortured them for hours. They beat them, they waterboarded them, they, they kicked them, they did everything. The guys narrowly escaped death. One of the guys, they took him, put a gun in his mouth and shot him in the face. Didn't kill him, but shot through his jaw, broke his jaw. So the guy limped out, limped outside, finally got away, limped outside and fell in his yard and they took him to the hospital. And there's a case going on about that right now. Now here's the thing. People think that police brutality don't happen. Now this wasn't an investigation. This was a bunch of guys who rushed some guys, people of color, I think they were black guys, I'm not sure. I, I don't have the specifics in front of me, but I, I believe they're black guys from what I read. They rushed into their house, they tied them up, tortured them. And all it said was that the police officers, the six police officers involved in this, the six police officers were fired from their job. Okay, here's my question. Why would they not arrest it? You mean that you can run into somebody's house, torture them, beat them, shoot them in the face. You know who they are and you did not arrest them. You fired them for you from their job. Okay. But you did not arrest these police officers for doing that. That's crazy. That's crazy guys. And you think that there's no police brutality in America. You have not seen anybody get beat down the street by the police. Keep living your life like that. Keep ignoring that. When somebody busts in your house, see what you have to do to, to, to stay alive when these officers are locked and loaded and come in there and beat the tar out of you, shoot you in the face. And you say our justice system is, 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 is right. It's not right. That's not right. Anybody, no one should be able to, allowed to do that. And especially our police officers, they work for us. We pay their bills. So I don't, I don't, I don't understand how these guys are not already behind bars. You tell me.